Hello and welcome to my video regarding the help you can get during these unprecedented times. This video is about the support you can get if you're an employer with paying your staff. The Coronavirus Job Retention Scheme is a temporary scheme open to all UK employers for at least three months starting from the 1st of March 2020. It will take some time for the scheme to be up and running and HMRC hope it will be ready by the end of April. The scheme is designed to support employers whose operations have been severely affected by coronavirus. So how does it work? Well, essentially, if your business has been affected by coronavirus, you can furlough staff rather than lay them off or make them redundant. Furloughing is essentially keeping them on the payroll, but not paying them. And of course, they don't do any work for you. The employer will be able to claim for 80% of furloughed employees' usual monthly wage costs up to £2,500 a month, plus the associated national insurance and pension contributions. You do not have to use the scheme from the start and can enter at any point, and of course it's not compulsory. The scheme is open to all UK employers that had created and started a PAYE payroll scheme on or before the 28th of February 2020. As far as employees are concerned, they must have been on your payroll as at the 28th of February, but can be on any sort of contract, be it full time, part time, even flexible or zero hours. It's also been confirmed that directors of companies can also be furloughed and will qualify for 80% of the PAYE wage. However, if you're also a shareholder and you receive dividends, and unfortunately these won't count. The scheme also covers employees who are made redundant after the 28th of February and if you have any such employees you can rehire them and then place them as furloughed. A couple of points to note as far as furloughing is concerned. Firstly the furloughed employee cannot do any work for you and of course once they receive their wage it will be subject to tax and national insurance in the usual way. Incidentally, as an employer, you can top up the wages of an employee from 80% to 100%, but you're not obliged to do so. So what do we need to do now? Well, as most contracts do not include the concept of furlough, it's worth discussing this with your employees and writing to them to formalise this and obtain consent. If you need a pro forma letter, then get in touch with me as I have one available. There are some rules regarding employees on unpaid leave, maternity leave, and if you have any such employees, again, get in touch with me. As far as the amount that can be claimed, this will be based upon an employee's pay in February. But if their pay varies, we can average this over the year or use the payment from the corresponding month last year, whichever is the higher amount. When the government portal opens, we will need to supply HMRC with personal details of employees and pay rates, as well as the amount of your claim as an employer. I will assist you with all of this in due course. This is going to be a slightly complex system until we all get the hang of it. And I'm here to help you every step of the way. If you have any initial queries, please do not hesitate to get in touch. I hope that was helpful. Check out my other videos for any of the other government support that might meet your personal circumstances. And remember that I'm here to support your business in whichever way I can. Stay safe and I look forward to speaking with you in due course.